Hello and welcome back for another Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring a complex of historic buildings located off the corner of North Royal and Cameron Streets in Alexandria, Virginia, that contains a tavern from 1785, a city tavern and hotel from 1792, and a newer 1878 hotel edition, currently offering Gadsby's Tavern Restaurant, American Legion Post 24, and Gadsby's Tavern Museum, and rumored to harbor a range of chilling supernatural infestations. Are you ready to brave the history and hauntings of Gadsby's Tavern? Historically, predating Gadsby's between 1749 and 1752, Charles and Anne Mason would establish a tavern called the Mason's Ordinary on site. Through the 1770s, one Mary Hawkins would establish a tavern just around the corner from what is now Gadsby's Tavern Museum, with her lot extending from the southwest corner of Royal and Cameron Street to about mid-block both ways. And in 1778, the plot of land was subdivided, with one Edward Owens purchasing the corner lot. Following the Revolutionary War, local economies would boom. In 1782, John Weiss would purchase Owens' lot and, in 1785, would utilize it to construct a Georgian-style tavern. In 1792, John would add a three-story hotel and ballroom to this tavern to better accommodate for more distinguished guests and would establish this new lodging as the city hotel, from which he would host a range of guests, events, weddings, banquets, and the like. In 1796, John Gadsby would lease the city tavern as the most prominent tavern in Alexandria. In 1802, he would renew his lease to include the smaller 1785 tavern from John Wise, and he would continue to manage operations until his move to Baltimore, Maryland in 1808. Following John Wise's death in 1815, his property would be passed through various owners and would serve a number of purposes, including as a hotel, as lawyers' offices, and as auction houses, and once again as lodging through the American Civil War. Sadly, by the turn of the 20th century, the prestigious old site had fallen into disrepair. Its once luxurious rooms utilized to house apartments, businesses, and odd shops. On May 21st of 1917, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York would purchase the ballroom's woodwork in an effort to preserve the historic space. And following some negotiation over the purchase of its architectural aspects, in 1924 would establish a permanent installation within. Sadly, for a time, the structure would be threatened with demolition. However, one F. Clinton Knight, accompanied by other concerned parties, would fight to preserve it, and his work would be carried on by American Legion Post 24. Following renovations funded by the city of Alexandria, the property would reopen in 1976 as a museum showcasing and interpreting the culture and histories of Alexandria. Today, this old site is sustained through Gadsby's Tavern Museum and through the leasing of the 1792 City Tavern and Hotel, which operates as the original City Tavern dining room, while original ballroom woodwork can still be viewed at the Met in New York. The museum offers tours by appointment for any with an interest in the area's past, and acts itself as part of the American Whiskey Trail, allowing patrons a glimpse into the culture and tradition of distilled spirits in America. Over its extensive existence, Gadsby's Tavern has been surrounded in a wealth of local lore and stories of supernatural happenings, with those frequenting its bounds telling of candles extinguishing or even igniting spontaneously, of objects sighted moving on their own, and of furniture found rearranged in the mornings. Before DC was claimed as the country's capital, Alexandria acted as a central point for all things politics, business, and society, hosting the likes of George Washington. Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, John Adams, James Madison, and the Marquis de Lafayette, and near Gadsby's, tales of encounters with full-bodied apparitions matching the descriptions and portraits of our very forefathers have surfaced. Also reported around Gadsby's are doors that open and close on their own, extreme cold spots, and the unnerving feelings of being watched, followed, or of being touched by something unseen. Another famous legend surrounding this old haunt tells that in 1816, a 23-year-old woman from the Caribbean, accompanied by her husband, arrived to the hotel and checked in to room 8. It's told this woman wore all black with a black veil over her face to hide some undisclosed ailment and that even when doctors were called to her room that she refused to give her name. 
Sadly, it said doctors could do nothing to save her, and on her deathbed, that she made all present promise they'd keep her identity and all associated information an absolute secret, a request they'd honor. To date, her grave, a table-like structure within St. Paul's, marked only as female stranger, can be viewed. Some tell the ghost of this mysterious woman haunts both the cemetery and Gadsby's Tavern, restless over her undistinguished fate, and many have described encounters with her spirit, which, at times, has been known to hold full conversations with the living, and at others, has been spied drifting eerily about. Lastly, Gadsby's Tavern is believed to have served as a hospital through the Civil War, or at the very least, to have harbored wounded and dying soldiers, as a number of reports from within tell of troops of ghostly infantrymen, often mistaken for reenactors, that always disappear in a flash, leaving all present in total shock. Thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.